Good morning, friends. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to start out. Good morning, good morning, guten Morgen. It is um, still morning here in Germany, actually. It's about quarter after 11. And if you're watching from the East Coast, you're probably not awake yet. And if you are, you're probably not on social media. So either way is okay. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and get ready for today. Not that I'm going anywhere or doing anything, but what I have learned, um, what I've figured out is being a stay at home army wife, um, uh, being a stay at home, anything, stay at home, mom, stay at home, wife, um, what they used to call homemakers back in the day. Okay. I am going to reclaim that title. I am an army wife, homemaker, dog, mom, uh, whatever you want to say, I stay at home with my dogs. I keep the house running for my husband so he can go to work um, and be able to focus on work instead of what's going on at the house. Um, although I do have to say, I am one of the lucky ones because my husband still helps me cook and clean and take care of the dogs and everything else. So I'm definitely one of the lucky ones. I do not have to um, maintain the entire house by myself. but. I'm gonna start off by saying, I know this lighting isn't the best. I am in my bathroom because to do my makeup, I don't have like a vanity set up. So I have to be in the bathroom and I also have to be at a sink. So, um, so I apologize that the lighting's not the best, but just hang out with me anyway, okay? Um, if you are hopping on the live, just say hello, say good morning. Um, I love chatting with you guys. If you're catching the replay, just um, say, hey, catching you later, okay? Hi, Patrick, I know you're gonna blow up my video, but hello, good morning. You're gonna do some makeup with me, Patrick. Um, so yeah, that's. Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and um, get ready for today. So anyway, uh, if you're live, say hello. If you're catching the replay, just say, hey, had to catch you later. Um, I have actually already washed my face. So I'm just going ahead to do. <laughs> All right. Bye, Patrick. Have a good day. <laughs> um, I'm just finishing up skincare before I start makeup. Guys, it's really important. Your skincare is so very important, um, especially as you move out of your teens and 20s and into your 30s and later. Skincare is really, really important um, to keep your skin healthy and glowing and youthful. All right. So, skincare is so, so super important. Um, make sure that you have a skincare routine that is right for you. So many people are using the wrong kind of skincare. They have oily skin and they're using things that make their skin even more oily. People have dry skin and they're not using anything to hydrate their skin and it's actually causing their skin to be more red and rough. So whatever skincare you choose to use, make sure that you are using a formula that is right for you. All right. So um good morning good morning make sure you're washing your face twice a day okay because at night especially at night you want to make sure that you're washing off all the crap from the day and you want to um shoot i need a washcloth um that you're washing off all the crap from the day. Also, if you wear makeup during the day, you really wanna make sure that you're washing off that makeup. All right? Do not sleep in your makeup. Oh my gosh, please do not sleep in your makeup. If anyone, if you are watching this um, and you wear makeup for the love of all that is holy in this world, do not sleep in your makeup. Oh my God, do not sleep in your makeup, okay? It's really bad for your skin. It clogs your pores. It causes more skin breakouts. Um, I know that at the end of the day, we are so tired. We don't even feel like doing anything. We just wanna crawl into bed. Do not, please take off your makeup 
first. If it is the only thing you do, if you don't wash your hair, if you skip your shower, if you <laughs> send your kids to bed without dinner. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you, I mean, I don't know, maybe you are, I don't know. Whatever you do, if it is the only thing you do, please, please, please wash your makeup off, okay? Sleeping in makeup is really bad for your skin. It ages your skin by seven years every time, okay? It clogs your pores, it causes breakouts, it makes already present skin issues even worse. Please wash your makeup off, guys. Mm. On that note, go ahead and get your coffee, warm your coffee up, whatever. I'm gonna go grab a washcloth, I'll be right back. All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, now that my skin is prepped. Um, I'm not really gonna be going over the makeup that I'm using. I'm in the process of switching my makeup over to another brand. Um, one that is, first of all, shoot. Switching my makeup over, I'm in the middle of switching my makeup over to another brand. So as my current products are running out, I am swapping over. Um, one, because they ship to an APO. Two, because uh, it's much more affordable than the current makeup I use. But the biggest reason is it ships to an APO. Um, it's really kind of difficult to find I wouldn't say difficult. It just depends on what you like to shop for, where, it just depends on the companies you like to shop with, whether or not they will ship to an APO. Uh, because APO is a, because an APO is a PO box, a lot of companies will not ship to one. So when I found um, a company that will ship to an APO and is much more affordable, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna swap over, okay? So FYI, green concealer, if you have red skin, okay, if you have redness on your skin, a green concealer, green neutralizes red. So if you have red on your skin, okay, a green concealer is going to be your new favorite thing. Okay. Um, so I'm going to say, I'm going to say this about makeup guys. I kind of follow trends somewhat kind of. Um, but I believe that makeup should be fun. Makeup is an art. Makeup is an expression of you. Okay. So, um, following trends, I think sometimes people get really caught up in wanting to follow certain trends of makeup because they're beautiful. Like, I get it, okay? <laughs> I have seen so many makeup trends and I'm like, oh my God, I wanna do that. And sometimes those makeup trends, it doesn't work with your facial features, okay? I have very um, almond shaped eyes and I do not have an eyelid, like the this part of your eye, like my eyelid just, it doesn't exist, you can see it, right? So certain trends that go for those uh, different eye shapes, it doesn't work for me, okay? So makeup, right? Makeup is, or should be, an expression 
of you, all right? If you are bold and bright, use bold and bright colors, okay? If you are soft and more neutral, use the more natural colors. Wow, this lighting makes me look really weird. <laughs> but the light from my ring light is reflecting onto the mirror, which is making much better lighting up here. So anyway, um, so definitely, um, definitely use makeup that is you okay use makeup that fits your style and i lost my <sighs> goodness gracious okay now with that being said and i'm actually looking for my silicone foundation um, oh my God. Okay. I'm about to freak out. I can't find it. I'm looking for my silicone foundation swipey pad thingy. With that being said about makeup and using the right, oh God, seriously, I'm too short to see up here. Nope. Okay. With that being said, sorry guys, we're having some technical difficulties. Um, you do not want to use colors that um, contradict your skin tone, your eye color, things like that. You want to use the right shades, the right colors that are really going to accentuate and feature you. Seriously, oh my god, I am not a happy camper right now. I can't believe I lost it. Oh, damn it. And the thing is, is that I just used this the other day, first of all. Second of all, um, this silicone foundation thingy. Oh wait, hold on. I think I remember where I put it. The silicone foundation, yes. The silicone foundation thingy I got at the Dollar Tree back in the States, okay? We don't have Dollar Tree over here and I don't know, you know what, Teddy, if you're in Germany and you know what Teddy is, they might have one of these. But anyway, listen. So back to what I was saying. Um, have fun with the makeup. I don't follow makeup trends per se. I use them as guides um, because I like to create my own looks. I like to apply the makeup that I like, what looks good on me. Um, and quite frankly, the style of makeup that I like to do um, because it's easy, it's simple, um, it's not, my style of makeup application does not take three hours, okay? Um, obviously, when I'm on camera and talking to you guys, it takes a little bit longer, but if I'm just sitting here doing my makeup on my own, um, it obviously takes a lot less time. I don't like to sit in front of the mirror <laughs> for an hour and do my makeup. I know if my family is watching this, they're going to say, that's not true. How many times has my brother had to wait for the bathroom? Um, but that was just, that was a while ago, okay? Like, we're not there anymore. Let's just move on, all right? So anyway, um, I don't, and, which is funny too, because I used to sit there for an hour and do my makeup in, in the bathroom. Um, when I had somewhere to be, like when I had a job and I had somewhere I had to be. Um, and now that I do not have anywhere to be and I stay home, I am like, okay, if I'm gonna do my makeup today, I want it to just be quick and easy and done, okay? And I find that more people, more of you guys, more of my friends that like hang out with me on live video, um, more of you guys are in that realm of makeup. Like you like to do makeup, 
you like to have your makeup done, but you really just don't have time to sit there for an hour and do your makeup. So you want things that are quick, that are easy, that are simple, and that are going to give you a nice finish. All right, so that's kind of where I'm going. Um, silicone, I don't even know what to call these. Foundation appliers, foundation swipies, okay? This is a Swispers brand. I literally got it from the Dollar Tree before I left the States. Um, it is my favorite way to apply foundation. Foundation, okay. Um, the biggest reason that is my favorite way to apply foundation is because how many times have you used like, actually like a makeup sponge, okay, and the product is still on the sponge? Or have you used, uh, Or how many times have you used a brush, like a makeup brush, a foundation brush? And if you're a liquid, found, even powder foundation, but if you're a liquid foundation girl like I am, okay, using a brush is going to um, retain a lot of your product. Like you lose, you lose half your product and you can see it just, it goes on the same way Okay, it glides, it glides on very smoothly. All right, um, using a silicone uh, foundation sponge, I guess. It goes on very smoothly. As you can see, like it glides on very smoothly. Okay. Um, that's my favorite thing about it. Actually, well, that's my second favorite thing about it is that it glides very smoothly. It doesn't pull your skin. It doesn't scratch your skin, okay? Some people um, have reactions to certain makeup, like the fibers in makeup brushes. And it actually irritates their skin because it, it's harsh on their skin. They have sensitive skin and it's harsh. So if you, if that's you, I do definitely recommend a silicone, um, silicone applicator, okay? Um, also my favorite thing about it, how many on here don't like to waste money? And when you waste product, you're wasting money because you're not getting your full amounts worth out of that product. Okay. Drop a one in the comments. If you hate wasting money and it makes sense to you that wasting product means you're wasting money, okay? Drop a one in the comments so that I know I'm not alone with that thinking, okay? Silicone does not leave product on the applicator, okay? You're going to be able to use all of your product And it just gives a very, very, very smooth finish. Okay. Very smooth finish. I told my husband that this year I want to get a vanity so that I can keep all of my makeup in one place. And I have a spot of my own to do my makeup with a nice mirror and I can use my ring light to sit in the back behind me to give a better lighting because right now like this is really crappy lighting um but anyway so that's that all right um see and there's no like i mean there's obviously like residue like color from the application but if you look at like makeup brushes um there's a lot more there's a lot of product that, that uh, soaks into that brush, okay? Also, these silicone foundation uh, applicators, sponges, whatever you wanna call them, they are so easy to clean. And guys, also, here's another tip. Please, for the love of God, for the love of God, for the love of God, clean your makeup brushes, okay? Do not be that lazy Susan that doesn't clean her makeup brushes, okay? 
It's not hard to clean your makeup brushes, okay? It might be a little time consuming if you have a lot of them, if you use a lot of them, or if you're like a basic Betty and <laughs> you only have like three of them, that's cool too. It's not gonna take you that long. It's not hard. You just rinse them, you uh, wash them out with some kind of gentle, non-toxic soap, okay? Um, I suggest also buying a brush cleaner because it helps to disinfect, okay? Um, and keeps them smelling really good. Also, these silicone ones, you can use a washcloth and dry them, love them. Seriously, if you are a makeup person and you like to do your makeup and you are a liquid foundation girl like me, get yourself, I'm sure you can find them on Amazon. If you're not in the United States, and you're here in Germany, and there's no Dollar Tree, and I don't know, maybe like Globus has them. I haven't actually looked, I should look. I have not looked. All right, so, the cool thing about makeup, guys, is it's a way to just express yourself. It's a way to, I don't know, I really feel like when people do their makeup, unless you have a specific go-to look every single day and it doesn't matter, I feel like a lot of people that use makeup as a form of express, like as a form of self-expression, I feel like they, uh, the people who use it as an art, as a form of self-expression, as a way to just kind of like create based on how they're feeling. It's a communicative style. It's a communicative, it, it's a style to communicate, right? And if you're one of those people, um, if you're one of those people, then if you're feeling excited and happy and in a great mood, you might use colors that are brighter, more cheerful, okay? Um, pinks, golds, just colors that are more bright and fun and cheerful, okay? Champagne colors, bronzes, things like that. If you're feeling more sad, down, depressed, maybe even upset, you might use darker colors, okay? Blacks, grays, okay? maybe some blues. Now, some people just use those colors to create different looks and it has nothing to do with their mood, right? And I'm kind of both, I'm kind of both. Sometimes I will use makeup to um, kind of let people know, like subconsciously, I guess, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm in a great mood. I'm wearing fun, flirty makeup, I'm in a great mood. eyebrow gel. I'm going to hold your eyebrows in place. Okay. Apply it first before you apply your eyebrow pencil. Here's the thing about eyebrows guys, and I'm not an expert, like I'm still learning. Here's the thing about eyebrows though. If you YouTube eyebrows, like eyebrow tutorials, okay, you'll find some like super famous, like super popular, like YouTube famous, YouTube popular makeup artists that will show you the difference of how your eyebrows are shaped can actually change the shape of your face, can offer like an instant facelift, okay? Um, so eyebrows, Here's the thing about eyebrows, okay? The, with, with eyebrows that are properly shaped to your face structure, to your face shape, um, eyebrows that are properly groomed to the shape of your face that works with your face, that complements your features, um, and ones that when you use eyebrow fillers and stuff like that, the right colors, it makes all the difference, okay? Not only does it make all the difference in your makeup, but it also makes all the difference. Good morning, Allie, hello, good morning, good morning. Um, 
it also makes all the difference in uh, <laughs> Like, honestly, it makes all the difference if you look really grumpy or if you look really happy and approachable, okay? Um, I'm telling you, makeup is an art. It is an art that is just so self-expressive and um, can make you look awake and bright and fresh-faced when you're super tired and got like an hour of sleep last night. It can make you look really, um, it can just change the whole, your whole mood, your whole vibe. Um, and it also changes the way that other people see you, okay? Depending on how you have your makeup done, right? You see someone who's like gothic with all their goth makeup, they might not be as approachable to some people, okay? Fun fact about me, I was actually engaged to a goth when I was um, 19. I was engaged to a goth, which was really funny because all my friends were like, too <laughs> like and his friends were like uh where'd you pick up Malibu Barbie <laughs> like <laughs> so we just I don't know but he was like we clicked when I was 19 okay it wasn't even like a rebel phase it was like a I don't know he was just super sweet but a lot of people were so shocked to find out that I was actually engaged to a goth like he had a Vladimir Dracula tattoo on his whole arm people are like I'm sorry, what? <laughs> so anyway, okay. Um, I don't know, I just really like to play with makeup. Also, moving into the next segment of this, I, Allie says I rarely wear makeup. Ah, girl, let me tell you, I go through phases, okay? I really do, I go through phases. Um, if my family ends up watching this later, they're going to comment and say, that I used to spend like two, they'll exaggerate and say that I spent like two or three hours in the bathroom doing my makeup. That is an exaggeration. It was probably closer to an hour um, back when I lived with my parents because I went through this phase where I was like, oh my God, I can't be seen without makeup, okay? When I, the first time I ever attended college, I was the same way. My best friend used to get so mad at me because, that's not what I want. Uh, yes, it is. My best friend used to get so mad at me because I would be late picking her up to go to our college classes because I was putting my makeup on. And she'd be like, oh my God, like, it's fine. It doesn't matter. You don't need makeup. Like, it's, you're just going to class, you know? And she's right. But if you know, if you have friends that wear makeup, okay? Um, that's what we have my best friend <laughs> Okay, so you, Allie, relate to my best friend and your best friend relates to me, okay? So uh, we kind of got a connection going on here now. You know what I'm talking about, okay? Um, if you talk to somebody, so you you might understand, your best friend, Allie, probably said something along these lines, what I'm about to say. Um, makeup, sometimes, for some people, makeup isn't necessarily about the way you look when you have it. It is about the way that you feel when you feel like you look good. Does that make sense? So like, it's not necessarily about the way you look when you're finished with your makeup, okay? Because some people, some people will put on, let me show you guys this. Some people will slap on a tinted moisturizer. Obviously, this one's too dark for me. I don't use this by itself. I mix it, which is what I was using earlier in this video. I mixed it with a, a liquid foundation. But this is a tinted moisturizer, okay? And I can't tell you how many days I've left the house wearing just a tinted moisturizer because it takes 30 seconds to apply it. That's it, one and done. And it acts as a foundation, a color corrector, uh, all sorts of stuff. It's really easy for that easy breezy, Easy breezy beautiful cover girl. Okay, it's it's really easy for people who are not makeup people, but they're like, okay, maybe, or people who want to start um, doing their makeup and they're not really sure where to start and they're not sure if they really want full coverage like a liquid foundation. CC cream, um, color correcting cream is going to be the place to start. But I can't tell you how many times people will walk out of the house. Women will walk out wearing just CC cream and they'll feel like they'll feel like a million bucks. Other people 
have to do a full face of makeup, otherwise they don't feel their most confident. So it's not about, it's not necessarily about how you look when you leave the house. It is definitely more about the way that you feel. And when you feel your best, when you feel your absolute best, you are more productive, you're in a better mood, you focus better, like true story, factual, okay, look it up. When you feel your best, when you absolutely feel your best, whatever that looks like for you, and for a lot of women, that's even just a little makeup, okay? One of my friends just wears like lip gloss and, and mascara, that's it. Um, when you feel your best, whatever that looks like for you, you are more productive, you are friendlier, you feel more confident to approach different things, okay? Uh, it just puts you in a different vibe. It puts you in a different vibe. It also helps you focus a lot more. It does. It helps you focus on your job, on, on school, on whatever it is, whatever it is, okay? Because you're not so worried about anything. And, and trust me, I'm definitely not the person that cares what anybody thinks, okay? I could do a whole nother live about the clothes I wore in high school, okay? I was engaged to a goth for God's sakes. Um, I'm weird, I'm loud, I really, really don't care what people think about me. I am, and if you know me, you know that to be the truth. I really don't care. But even people like me, who honestly really don't take into consideration other people's opinions about me, because I'm the one that has to live my life. I'm the one that has to be, you know, whatever I have to do, okay? Not them. So it doesn't matter what they think, it's what I think, because I have to live with me every single day, okay? You have to live with you every single day. But even people like us, sometimes in the back of our mind, we are like, oh my gosh, like, does my hair, like, is my hair too greasy today? Because girl, like, I don't wash my hair every day, okay? I wash it like every four or five days maybe. Sometimes when I go out in public, I'm like, damn, I bet like, I know my hair's looking a little greasy today. People probably think that I am unclean. <laughs> and those kind of feel like, sometimes those just get to you, okay? So, I'm just saying. Even people who are not makeup people at all, I've actually had a few people like, kind of come to me and ask me, I need to get a tinted moisturizer. Foundation doesn't look right on me. Girl, I'm gonna message you after this video, okay? I'm gonna message you out of it. If you didn't catch the first part of this video, I am actually swapping my makeup out. Not because the current makeup I have is bad makeup by any means, okay? It's Mary Kay, if anyone wants to know. Um, I've been using Mary Kay for over 10 years. However, they do not ship to an APO. And it's not very convenient to keep having my orders shipped to a friend of mine in the States and have her ship them here. It's just, I pay double the shipping. Uh, it's just not convenient, right? So I'm actually in the middle of swapping my makeup. I'm gonna message you after this um, and let you know where you can find a seriously cheap foundation, I'm sorry, tinted moisturizer, seriously like cheap, that ships right to your APO here. Um, and it follows EU standards, which means it's free of over 1,300 parabens, chemicals, toxic stuff that is used in the U.S. Um, it's vegan. It is cruelty-free. They don't test on animals. I'm going to message you after this, girl. Um, also, okay. While we're on the topic of tinted moisturizers, even my friends who don't enjoy doing their makeup, they don't really like makeup, okay? I've also, I found that a lot of people, I found that the reason a lot of women don't 
particularly enjoy wearing makeup is because it feels very heavy. They don't like the feeling. Oh, seriously, Carissa, what is going on here today with you? I found that a lot of women do not like the feeling of having stuff on their face. They don't want their skin to feel heavy. Does that make sense? Okay, drop a yes if that makes sense. They don't want their skin feeling heavy. They don't want to feel like they're wearing a mask. They don't want to have caked on makeup, okay? And they've had bad experiences. They've had very negative experiences with makeup in the past because they have tried brands. They have tried, um, they have tried so many things, so many different brands, so many different formulas, cover colors, coverages, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They have tried so many of that and nothing feels right to them, okay? So they just don't wear it because they want a light feeling on their face. I'm gonna tell you guys this, okay? If you are wearing the wrong formula for your skin type, and I'm gonna say this again, it starts with skincare, okay? Whatever skincare line you choose to go with, make sure it is the right formula for your skin. Second, same thing with foundation. If you have felt that the foundations you have tried in the past are very heavy, cakey, this, that, and the other. First of all, I do recommend, like Allie said, start out with a CC cream, okay? CC cream is just a tinted moisturizer, very lightweight, very easy to put on, takes 30 seconds, okay? You can do it while you're sitting on the toilet if you really want to, all right? Um, do... Um, women have had really negative experiences with that, okay? If you are using the wrong foundation formula for your skin, it will feel oily, cakey, thick, not comfortable, okay? I'm going to say that again. If you are using the, and it has nothing to do with brand, okay? I don't care if you're using um, some fancy, high up, Too Faced, Clinique, what is it, Tarte, any, anything from Sephora, I don't care. I don't care if you're using like Mary Kay or another MLM. I don't care if you're using the drugstore, CoverGirl, Maybelline, Ramel, Wet n Wild, I don't care. It doesn't matter the brand, okay? If you are using the wrong formula, for your skin. It will feel thick, it will feel cakey, it will feel uncomfortable. It will feel greasy, it will feel oily. It will feel most likely everything that you have been trying to avoid with makeup, okay? So I tell people all the time, it's not about the brand you use. And I just totally fucked up my eyebrow. <laughs> ah, we're gonna go back in and fix that. It's not about the brand you use, okay? I mean, to an extent it is because you really wanna be using a brand that takes a lot of pride in developing their formulas, okay? With good ingredients, high quality ingredients, okay? So to an extent it is about the formula, but it's not all about the formula. It has a lot to do, I'm sorry, the brand. It's not all about the brand. It has a lot to do with, has a lot to do with the formula that you're using, okay? And if you're using the wrong formula, also y'all, I rarely contour my face because I'm just not that good at it. So, Listen, if y'all are makeup beginners, if y'all are sweet, easy, breezy, um, obviously like this is taking a lot longer because I'm on camera. 
But if you want something quick, easy, a routine that's super easy to apply, one that takes 15 minutes or less to do, I promise you, you're going to want to start watching my videos, okay? I promise you, you're gonna wanna start watching my videos. Also, okay. I wanna take a quick moment and talk about my post from yesterday. If you guys read it, okay, then you know what I'm referring to. If you did not read it yet, go read it. I'm a huge advocate for mental health, you guys. Okay. I have never been clinically diagnosed with depression or anxiety, but since moving to Germany and things are just so different and I'm so far from home and COVID and so many other things, if I were to go talk to a therapist, they would probably tell me I'm depressed. Okay. I'm just going to put it out there. I don't really believe in like pills. That's just me. So I try to do other things like holistically to work through that. Okay. Um, I also would just like to say that my husband is amazing. He has, he, <laughs> it doesn't matter how I'm feeling. He steps up. He stays. He doesn't get angry at me. He doesn't get frustrated with me. Okay. He doesn't come home one day and say, so you just laid on the couch all day. And now you want me to cook dinner after I've been at work all day? He never says anything like that to me. He just says, okay, send me the recipe. I'll get dinner started. Go take a shower. My husband is amazing. And it is because of him that I'm able to get through every day here. Every day I have to take day by day. Yeah, Allie, uh, the lack of sunshine really <laughs> doesn't help here either. Okay. Um, it is because of my husband that I'm able to get through each day. Okay, because some days I'm like really excited and life is great and I'm feeling good. And other days I'm just like, yeah, I stay home. I don't have kids. Um, I take the dogs on their walk because I take care of my fur babies. Um, but there's days that I just like, even just having to clean the house feels overwhelming to me. And I just want to like, and I've never experienced these feelings before. I have never until moving to Germany, honest to God, until moving to Germany, because when I said yes to my husband and we got married and I agreed that I was going to move to Germany with him, I gave up my career in corporate America, which was a damn good one, I might add. Um, I just ended up selling, like, I went to, I, I haven't had my own car since moving here, okay? I just actually sold my car, which probably was the best thing we could do because ah, a $400 car payment isn't going to cut it on one income. Okay. Anyway, um, it's just a lot of changes. Okay. And my husband didn't force me to come here. I agreed. We actually talked about me staying in the States in, in the apartment that we had. And I would stay and keep my job and work full time and do my thing. And he came over here and we would have, we would be dual income. We talked about that. But I said, no, I want to be with my husband. I want to experience Germany. I want to go through this life experience with you. Well, he also understands that there was a lot of sacrifice made on my part. And it's really hard over here. You're very secluded over here. Very, very, very secluded over here. COVID has a lot to do with that. Okay. Um, so I've never experienced things like this before. I've never experienced what it felt like that just cleaning my house is overwhelming. Okay. So through the help of my husband, journaling, certain essential oils that I use, 
um, exercising my dogs, like going outside, going for a walk, like going live with you guys, connecting with you guys through here, okay? More recently, makeup, okay? I've gotten back into the makeup scene. Um, gotten more into the makeup scene, back into the makeup scene. Through a lot of that, okay, I've been able to cope each day. But I'm gonna tell you guys. So the post I made yesterday, Allie says my husband is the same way. Please feel free to rage me, because yeah, you got it, girl. Same. Ditto. You got it. Um stay. Ah okay. If y'all live on base, you know that these double sinks do not make very good. They're not good to hold any kind of makeup or anything. That's why I need a vanity. All right. Um, anyway, okay. So it's hard, okay? And if you saw my post from the other night, okay guys, um, I'm a really big advocate for people being able to express themselves without someone telling, first of all, First of all, first of all, your feelings are valid. Whether someone else sees that or not, whether someone else believes, and I gotta tell you, I've had people very recently that I have had in my life for years and years and years and years and years, like my whole life basically, tell me, oh, you've got nothing to be complained about. Your life is so perfect. Okay, those same people invalidate how I feel every day because they think that their situation is so much worse and they think that I don't have any reason to be upset or sad or anything but super happy every single day. They believe that I have no reason to complain or be upset about anything at all, period. Okay, because they're on the outside looking in. They're on the outside looking in. And because of that, and I've had a lot of people, and not a lot of people, but a few people very recently say, suck it up and deal with it. Suck it up and get over it. First of all, suck it up, that is a fucking trigger to me. That is a fucking trigger phrase to me. And I will never say it to anybody. Ever. Because I hate it being said to me. That is like the worst fucking phrase you can say to someone who is trying to deal with life every day. Telling them, suck it up, buttercup. Oh my God, I piss myself off saying that. Guys, if you're listening and you, and you are that person that says it to somebody, stop. Because the person trying to deal with life, whether you think they have anything to deal with or not, is irrelevant. They have a right. You have a right to feel what the fuck you feel. Okay? You have a right to feel happy. You have a right to feel excited. You have a human birth right to feel your emotions. You have a human birthright as a human being to feel your emotions. Okay? And someone will tell you to just that you don't need to feel that way because it's not that bad. At least you're not blah, blah, blah. And then they're going to start comparing their situation to yours. And I understand that situations are different. Okay. My husband and I, we don't have kids. Okay. So for a lot of people, that's going to be a big thing. It's like, well, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, I get it. It was a choice for us not to have kids. It was a choice for you to have kids. So if you are going to tell me to deal with my choices, then I'm going to tell you deal with your choices. If your kids are overwhelming you, you chose to have kids, now deal with it. But I'm never going to say that to you because I don't know what it's like to be a mom 
to one, two, three, four, five kids, whatever, okay? I don't know the emotions you're going through. That is why I say all the fucking time. It is not the situations that people need to relate to you. It is the emotions. Because regardless of what situation brings upon feelings, emotions of sadness, excitement, happiness, joy, uh, bitterness, jealousy, whatever, pick an emotion, drop an emotion, drop an emotion in the comments, okay? Something, anything, an emotion, drop it in the comments because it is not, it doesn't matter what the situation is. This ring light's kind of blinding me. <laughs> It doesn't matter what the situation is that, that brings upon this emotion. It is the emotion itself that needs to be related to. Okay. And people forget that because people get so caught up in comparing their situation to yours. And then they tell you, well, at least you're not dealing with X, Y, Z. And then they say, suck it up, buttercup, and just find a way to deal with it because that's the way that it is. I fucking hate that, you guys. I really, really hate the phrase, suck it up. Because what you're saying to people when you say suck it up, what you're saying to them is, first of all, you're invalidating their feelings. You're making them feel like they don't have a right at all to feel that way. And they do. Second, what you're doing <laughs> by doing that is you're telling them to just ignore the issue, forget about it, and find a way to move on. Guys, ignoring problems doesn't make them go away. Okay. Ignoring problems doesn't make it go away. Pretending something isn't happening doesn't mean it's not happening. It just means that you are delaying the inevitable that eventually you are going to have to deal with it. So the next time you want to tell someone to suck it up, take a minute and step back and figure out what the emotion is that they're feeling. Okay, and the next time someone wants to tell you to suck it up, suck it up, buttercup. Oh, I fucking hate that phrase. Seriously, I fucking hate that phrase. The next time someone wants to say that to you, tell them that you understand Tell them that you understand that's how they deal with things by ignoring it. But that's not the way you want to deal with things because for your own mental health and your own emotional health, you need to actually work through what's going on. And by working through it means you're not sucking it up. It means you're sifting through what is going on so you can properly heal So that you can properly heal and deal with what's going on. Okay? People deal with things in different ways. Now, what I will encourage you to do is make sure that however you are dealing with your, with your stuff, however you're dealing with it, Make sure it's healthy. I mean, <laughs> I don't ever recommend that someone like, I don't ever recommend that somebody like, I said that line with you, you have the right to feel. Yes, you have, you have the human birthright to feel, okay? Um, now, obviously, I will never encourage or recommend that anybody engage in destructive behavior that is going to um, compromise their health or, <laughs> you know, the law or something like that, okay? Find a healthy way to deal with it. If you exercise, if you like to walk, if you um, like to journal, if you like to write, okay? Um, I know a few people actually, about two or three people, who um, started an anonymous blog. Started an anonymous blog because that was their 
outlet to talk about the issues going on without letting people know who they are because they didn't for fear of being judged and all other sorts of stuff, okay? Um, so find something that works for you. And I just got makeup in my eye, okay? Find something that works for you that is a healthy outlet and so my post yesterday, and again, if you haven't read it, go read it. To anyone who thought that maybe I wasn't okay, overall, I am okay. Um, overall, I am okay. It's just sometimes I have those days, okay? I was very frustrated on Sunday. It was supposed to be a fun, exploratory day with my husband and got a fucking speeding ticket because of these stupid ass German speed traps, <sighs> okay? Um, then my dog somehow got off his leash and we got yelled at in German <laughs> by some lady. So I didn't even know what she said. Um, I don't know, it was just one of those days where I was just in a mood, okay? And I don't know guys, just actually, you know what, let me, I'm going to try something different in a minute. <laughs> Let's try this one. That is not quite what I want. But we'll go with it. We'll go with it. We'll see what we'll see what this brings. So I made a post because I know, and like I said, I'm a huge advocate for mental health, you guys. And I know that we live in a world with two extremes. Okay? We live in a world with two extremes. And the two extremes are People either talk too much about their issues and they tell everybody that they pass on the street, in the grocery store, they tell everybody in the entire world about every problem that's going on and they complain and they complain and they complain and they want someone else to fix their issues and they don't ever do anything about their situation, okay? I do not believe, I believe in being able to talk about what's going on in your life. I believe in being able to vent about your frustrations because you have a right to feel what you feel, but I do not believe in consistently complaining if you don't plan on actually trying to help yourself. I am a huge advocate for mental health. I'm also a huge advocate for self-help. And if you are one of those people that just wants everybody else to step aside and fix your problems and cater to you, you're living in a fantasy world that doesn't exist. You have to be willing to help yourself, okay? You have to be willing to help yourself. The other thing, and I'm like changing mirrors because this ring light isn't doing what I thought it was gonna do. Okay. Um, the other thing is that I feel like I need to hurry up and finish my makeup because I've been on here with you guys forever. <laughs> here with you guys forever I probably have okay um I need that later I might not need that later I definitely need that later by the way guys I got this brush set super cute rose gold on Amazon for like 10 bucks um actually I still have the box here because I have a bunch of the brushes in here that I'm not currently using, but this box set, 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, you have to help yourself, okay? Nobody else is gonna do it for you. I'm actually gonna turn this ring light off for a minute. The lighting's gonna be a lot different, but Um, so 
Sorry, now I'm trying to hurry up and finish my makeup because I've been on this video like a really long time. So, my post, okay? We live in a world of two extremes. And the other extreme is when people won't talk about it at all. People won't talk about what's going on at all because they're afraid of being judged. They're afraid people will tell them to just get over it. They're afraid that they can't talk to anybody about it because here's the thing. Friendships are fading. Friendships are fading because nobody can be bothered with anyone else's problems. Now, there's a fine line, and I will probably do another video and talk about this at a later date, but there is a fine line between, between shooing people away and brushing them off and making them feel like you're not there for them, making them feel like what they want to talk about doesn't matter. Um, there's a fine line between that, between just shooing somebody away, ignoring them, and dismissing them. And then on the other side of that fine line is having to set your own boundaries because there's only so much that you can do to let a person vent to you and talk to you before it starts to like deteriorate your own mental health. You have to set those healthy boundaries, okay? Help people, but that's what I'm saying. If, if someone keeps coming to you and wants to talk about their problems and what's going on and what they're frustrated about in this world and you listen to them and you a few times and you offer advice to help them, okay, or you see that they're just not doing anything to help themselves, that's when you cut them off and say, look, I wanna be friends, I wanna be able to have conversations with you, but not about this topic. And tell them, be like, because I feel like you're not being proactive in helping yourself and I can only do so much to help you move through that. My husband's home because he forgot his stuff. Okay, so um, so keep that in mind because keep that in mind because black black eyeshadow. Um, you don't want to dismiss people, okay, but you also have to take care of your own mental health and set those boundaries. And sometimes people take advantage of that, okay? But I say that friendships are fading and I say that we're on the op extreme opposite because nobody can be bothered about anything of other people's problems. People are living in a world right now where if it's not positive, they don't want to hear it. If it's not positive, they don't want to talk about it. And it's leaving a lot of people um, that are, you know, it's leaving a lot of people feeling like they don't have anywhere to turn. It's leaving a lot of people feeling like relationships in their life are fading. And it's leaving a lot of people to feel very, very alone. And we don't want that either, okay? Your friends, you should be able to talk to your friends. You should be able to have your friends talk to you. And it should be a healthy, communicating uh, relationship. And you do have to set boundaries, okay? Boundaries do have to be set. Otherwise, people get taken advantage of, okay? Otherwise, your own mental health is going to suffer. But at that same time, you don't want to dismiss people either, okay? So the next time someone wants to talk to you about something, just listen to them. Just listen to them, okay? Set your own emotions aside and just listen to what they're saying. Offer some friendly, helpful advice, okay? And if you don't have any advice to offer them for that particular thing, tell them, you know, you're happy to lend that listening ear, but you don't have enough experience in that area to be able to help them. And you suggest that they, you know, talk to somebody else, but still let them feel heard. Let them feel listened to. Let them feel like you understand 
that make them feel like their relate that your relationship with them, that their relationship with you actually matters. Okay. People are feeling like their relationships no longer matter and they feel like they don't matter. And it's really causing just this big domino effect. Does that make sense? You guys, um, shit. Oh, oh my God. These sinks. I don't have enough space in the bathroom. Oh my God. So anyway, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I am not finished with my makeup yet, but I think I've been on here for probably over an hour now, and I am going to use a bold gold. A bold gold. Are you leaving? Make people feel hard, guys. Um, stop dismissing people. Sometimes people just need to be able to talk about it, okay? Okay. People just want to feel heard. People want to feel like they matter. People want to feel like they have a purpose. Okay. Um, the worst thing you can do to somebody is dismiss them. The worst thing you can do to somebody is dismiss them. The worst thing you can do to someone is dismiss them. Stop making them feel like they don't matter. Stop making them feel stupid. Stop for feeling the way that they feel. Anyway, you guys get the point. This is, <laughs> I'm gonna end by saying, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, if you got any value from this, send me a message, right? And just, just say, hey, okay? I really wanna connect with you guys. I really wanna say hi. Um, If you have any makeup questions, message me. My inbox is always open. Allie, I will message you, okay? Um, thank you guys so much for spending your morning slash afternoon with me and for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I know you guys could have been anywhere and you chose to hang out with me. Um, so that really means a lot to me. That means a lot to me that you took some time out of your day to hang out with me. Um, with that said, I love you guys. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.